And we're back with another video. I appreciate you guys tuning into my channel. That means a lot to me that you take the time out of your day to even click or consider clicking on my videos. It means a lot. We're on the road to 1,000 subs, so if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Today we're gonna to be talking about my favorite exterior modification to date. That is the GTS hood. Oh, it just looks so good, so aggressive, and I think it adds so much to the F30 and F32 chassis. Today I'm gonna to do a full review on it for you. For now, enjoy some cinematic B-roll. Let's get into it. So let's talk about a couple reasons why I'm really digging this hood. The first reason is obvious. The aggression of this hood is insane. I think it looks fantastic. And uh, let me just show you, hopefully I'm pick up on camera, but from every angle, it just looks so good. I'm sure you can tell I'm like hyped on this thing, but aggressive lines in the center, a big bump in the middle, huge vent which I'll talk about that in a little bit, but man, it's so good. So that's obviously the first reason and why I even bought the hood. The second reason is weight saving. So my OEM hood comes in at 46 pounds. This one weighs 23 pounds. It's made out of aluminum. There are two different versions of this hood. The first version is steel, a little bit heavier. The second version fits better and is a lot lighter. So I opted for the V2. It's really hard to come by because they're always out of stock, but keep your eyes peeled and I'll link below where I bought this hood so you can check it out. Another perk to this hood is this vent right here. The induction sounds and turbo sounds is so much louder. It's just amplified to another level. It was actually way louder than I thought it was gonna be and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at how good it sounds. Also, it releases hot air out of the engine bay. As you know, our M55s tend to run a little hot. Another thing worth mentioning with this hood vent is, and I was kind of concerned about this, was water rushing into the front of the engine bay. This is an open vent, and as you can see, the hood bump just slopes down significantly and water is definitely gonna get in there. So I contacted Souvenir Motorsports, the main vendor of this hood. They said not to worry about it. They haven't had any issues with anybody and their intake or their belt slipping off or anything like that. Um, so I was like, okay, it's kind of strange. I'm surprised no one has developed a solution to that. So I'm gonna work with somebody next week to see if we can manufacture a piece that sits on top, clips in, and you can throw it on there before you wash your car or before it rains. So I'm here in Southern California. Rain is not too big of an issue, but for everybody else out there in those extreme conditions, I think it'd be nice to have a solution to that. So I'll keep you posted on that. Another thing worth mentioning is the intake. A lot of guys run into issues with their intake sitting too high, the piping. Uh, I have the AFE intake and it fits perfectly. If the piping sits too high, what you can do is dremel the underside of this grill so it clips in nicely. If you don't clip it in all the way, it will, it will fly off. A lot of guys have lost their vents on the freeway <laughs> and it uh, doesn't sound like very much fun. So AFE intake and the cone sits about right here. So not too worried about water getting into the intake, just have to be careful when pressure washing, when I'm washing my car to not do it at like a direct angle. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. Next thing I wanna talk about is fitment. I'm gonna give it a score of nine out of 10. I think for an aftermarket hood, it fits really well. Um, this bumper gap was actually, I didn't have to do anything. No adjusting to the bumper. It's really easy to do if you find yourself with a larger gap though. There's about five or six screws under here and you just pull up the bumper a little bit but the sides were a little bit more tricky. There was a bigger gap on this side, so I tried to fix that, and then there was a bigger gap on the other side, so I recommend doing this with a friend because it took me about two hours to do on my own. First thing I did was just make sure that this line was perfect and then the body line matches as well. But like I said, for aftermarket, I think it's pretty darn good. So the next thing I wanna to touch on is paint. When I took the, the hood to the body shop, I wanted to make sure that it matched perfectly. So what they did was they brought out a high-tech camera. They took a picture of my fender 
and then it spit out three different samples and I held up those samples to my fender to make sure it was a perfect match and I think it turned out really good because I was kind of concerned that this would be fresh paint and this will be, you know, six year old paint and it just wouldn't look that good, but it turned out really well. So my advice to you is when you go to a body shop, just have them blend it. Just mention that. They'll know exactly what that is. If they don't know what blending is, then uh, take your hood to a different shop. <laughs> So I purchased the hood at AA Concepts. They're a local vendor here in Southern California. And I'm a huge proponent of going and picking up parts if I can, so you can save on shipping, especially for a hood, it's a huge item. Shipping can range from anywhere from $100 to $200. So if you're local to AA Concepts, check them out. Uh, they had about four other hoods in stock when I was there, and that was about a month ago, so maybe they still have some in stock. But make sure you go, this is my advice to you guys, Make sure when you go, you examine each and every hood. So when I walked in, they had like five hoods laid out for me, which was super cool then. But each hood had at least three dents in it. The hood that I picked up had a one very small dent, but the body shop that I took it to to get painted went ahead and took care of the dent for me. Um, just keep that in mind. If you're unable to check out your local vendor and examine the hoods in person, I would suggest calling them just to make sure there's no dents or defects before the hood arrives, because that'd be such a bummer. These hoods are flown in from Taiwan, they're made out of aluminum. You know, it's a very lightweight material and very fragile. So that's just my tip to you. Other than that, guys, I appreciate you tuning into my channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. If anything was unclear, or uh, if you have any other questions, hit me up on Instagram or comment below. I appreciate you all, and thank you so much. Enjoy your BMWs, stay driven. I'll catch you next time.